Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Being Real. I'm Joe. Get used to the face. Get used to the pace because we move quickly. And as the title told you, today we are talking about six things that are keeping you from becoming financially independent, to becoming financially solvent, to becoming financially independent, whatever everybody wants. And let's just jump right into them. I mean, there's a lot of things, but these six quick things is are stuff you can work on right away. And the first thing up is pay yourself. Every time you get paid, you need to pay yourself. That means you need to take money off of the top. I don't care if it's your paycheck. I don't care if it's a commission check. I don't care if it's a dividend check. I don't care what it is. You need to pay yourself first because the money disappears. There's a thing called Parkinson's law. Look it up if you'd like to. Basically, it just says that everything will be consumed by availability. So if there's plenty of money around, it's going to get consumed. If you have a ton of time to do a project, you're going to use all that time to do that project. It's just the way it works. It's true. If you have a week to do something, it's going to take you a week. If you have $5,000 a month, you're going to spend $5,000 a month. This is just the general nature of things. It doesn't mean you have to. It just means you do inherently. Uh, it's the same reason why people can live off of... Um, I mean, uh, no offense not to be politically incorrect, but you see our homeless friends. Um, what are they making in government aid? I don't know. 800 bucks a month. Yet they're getting up and they're living and they're breathing the same air every day as the person that's driving the C-Class Mercedes. And that person driving the C-Class Mercedes probably has about as much expendable income as that same person that's standing there with a cup in their hand at the stop sign. Now, I know that's a drastic, maybe possibly even exaggeration, but it's an analogy to let you know that it's all relative. It is all relative. You need to pay yourself first. You need to put the money away for yourself first. And then with what's left, you can pay the bills, as you like to call them. We're going to go into that in a different video. But pay yourself first and you'll be amazed at how things fit together, how the puzzle comes together. It doesn't matter. You will fit your lifestyle around what's available. Everybody does already. So just go ahead and form it yourself. Trust me, it works. The second thing that's holding you back is the keeping up with the Joneses, as we call it. And for you younger people, it's keeping up with your friends, the impressions and you know what people think and their, their expensive habits and things like that. You don't need to do that stuff. You really don't. No, I'm not some old codger sitting here telling you, oh, don't spend your money on stupid things. That's not my point. Actually, that is my point, but I'm telling you it can affect you no matter what age you are. You don't need to stay up with somebody for impressions. Forget it. I mean, they're just impressions. It's, it's it, Be yourself. Be yourself. You're going to be better off financially. You're going to be better off personally. You're going to be better off spiritually physically healthy, the whole nine yards. This is just the tip of the iceberg, but it's start off with that. Don't worry about staying up with other people. Don't worry about what somebody else is doing. Don't want to worry about what your neighbors are doing. And if your friends want to go out and do expensive things, offer them an alternative or just tell them you can't go. You'd be surprised about how much respect you get for sticking to your guns. Third is credit cards being used for the wrong reasons. Hey, everybody, I know. I tell you, we're a financial channel, basically real estate investments, but credit cards and credit in general are a very powerful tool when leveraged correctly. Using credit cards for the wrong reason is what holds millions of Americans back, millions of Americans back constantly. They're constantly chasing this, this credit card hamster wheel. It's just crazy. Credit cards are great for because you want to get your miles, you want to get your rewards, you want to get your points. I get all that. I do. Buy things with your credit card. Pay your bills with your credit card. Pay your bill. But if you put something on your credit card, you better have it in the bank and I want you to pay it off that day. Now, you do that, you still got the best of both worlds, right? You're getting all your rewards. You're getting your points. You're getting your miles, whatever it is you're trying to accumulate, but you're not running up a debt, a bad debt, a debt that's not paying you money. You don't have that. Stop using your credit cards for the wrong reasons. Now, another thing is, you know, the majority of people don't know what their actual costs are going out every month. They just 
make do with whatever comes in. They just make do. They don't they don't know. This goes back to number one, by the way, the par uh, Parkinson's law. Uh, but they just don't know what their costs are because they don't want to acknowledge it. It's hard to do. Hell, it's hard for me to do. I don't like doing it. I hate sitting down and seeing going over the budget and seeing how much money is spent on things. It drives me crazy. But I need to do it so I can acknowledge it and know where the holes are and know what needs to be fixed, what needs to be expanded on, what needs to be cut back. You have to do it. You absolutely have to do it. The first step is sitting down and writing out what your actual costs are every month. Now, you can find your way to a financial ease point by knowing what your costs are and then knowing, okay, this is what we need to do. We need to have this much money and everything above that can be, quote, expendable income. But if you don't know, all you do is spend. And the vast majority of people, that's what they do. They just spend. This fees the Parkinson's law thing, but this is one way to stop it. Okay. Now, another thing is stop being numb to bad debt. In the United States, we are, I'm usually anti-Dave Ramsey, but I will be pro-Dave Ramsey. A man deserves a lot of credit. I'll give him that. But Americans are just numb to debt, this bad debt, because they see people making money off of debt, which is good. That's a good thing. We like that. But being numb to bad debt has just become acceptable and it needs to stop. You don't need the credit card debt. You don't need that house payment that's too big. You don't need the car payment that's too big. You don't need those things. You need what you need to move forward. Yes, I get the whole YOLO thing. You only live once, right? And you want the nicer things, but do you want to go through your whole life struggling to get to make ends meet? Or would you rather take a little bit of time, use some common sense, apply common sense, just like we did up above, where we talked about the guy, the guy at the C-class Mercedes and the guy that he's passing that's standing on the corner with a cup in his hand. Both of them are making do with what they got, right? Right. So can you. Okay, get you get rid of this, I'm okay with debt. It's okay to be in debt. Everyone's in debt. No, it's not. Get rid of the bad debt and you will free up so much time and money. You will get ahead at lightning speed. Last thing I'll hit you with today is... Stop being a bad planner, <laughs> okay? Bad planning costs you money. How many of you out there pay that credit card late? And it doesn't give you a 30-day late on your credit report, so you say, that's oh, okay, it's an extra 35 bucks, but I'll just pay it. You don't get any dings on your credit report, it's okay. Don't do that. Don't leave the house without the necessity of the day. Don't If it's gonna rain, take an umbrella. Don't spend 25 bucks on an umbrella. I'm using the umbrella thing just as an example. It's not the exact analogy I want to drive here, but it's a constant spending of money when you don't need to do it just because you're, quote, in a hurry. Stop doing that. Plan your day and your life better. Plan it out. Know what you need. Know what you need and get that ahead of time. Stop spending money on things because you just didn't plan. Okay. Hey, I hope you liked it. Hope it's helpful. Hit the, I always forget, to, if you're still watching the video, <laughs> hit the like and subscribe button and come on over and check out our free Facebook page. Uh, the link somewhere on the, on the page right here. Come check it out. There's no cost to join. We'll help with all your financial problems and financial issues, get you straightened away and get you invested into real estate, whether you have experience or not. Come on over, check it out today. Thanks so much, folks.